Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the write on effect to create scribbles and motion trail lines right in Premiere Pro. So before we begin, make sure you leave a like on the video if you're enjoying these tutorials, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So this is similar to my After Effects scribble effect, which I'll leave a link to, but it's a little bit different when done in Premiere. This is more of a way to create lines and animated trails, I find. So I have this clip on the timeline, and in the Effects panel on the right-hand side, let's search for one called Right On. It should be in the Generate Video Effects folder. So you can click and drag this directly onto your clips, and you should see it pop up onto the Effects Control panel. And it might look like nothing has happened yet, but if you notice, there's a small dot that has appeared in the center of the clip. You can adjust the brush size to see what I'm talking about. So with this dot, we can animate its position over time so that it leaves a trail and writes on top of our clip. So let's start at a point that we want to start at. So I'm going to animate her feet kicking up into this cartwheel. So I'll move my brush position, the X and Y, until it's at a starting point that I want. So I'll start it right at her tiptoes. Now I'll hit the keyframe icon to toggle animation and what I'll do is I'll just use my arrow keys on my keyboard to arrow over one frame at a time and then move the position to follow the new position of whatever object I'm tracking. So I'll move over a couple frames, I'll move the X and Y and you'll see that there will begin to be a line that starts to form. So I'm just going to go through and make a keyframe for each new position that her leg cartwheels up into. All right, so once I reach the last frame, her foot has landed back on the sand, and you can see I've created a whole bunch of keyframes here that follow the path of her kick. So you can see in the right on effect, there's a whole bunch of other options we can adjust. We can adjust the color of the line, the brush size, the brush hardness, the brush opacity, the stroke length, and the brush spacing. So right now you see that it's kind of spaced out and dotty, but if you decrease the spacing, you get a solid line, or if you increase it, you can get the dots if that's the look you're going for. Now the stroke length on the other hand is how long do you want each dot or the stroke to last. So at zero it's just going to stay on there permanently, but if we take it to something like one second, you'll see that it'll go away after one second. So each dot only lasts one second. Or you could do something like 0.5 for half a second and then it'll appear and disappear much more quickly. So that's useful to make the line shorter or longer and you can also animate these keyframes and then we have a few more properties at the end here which are paint time properties. So if I was to start at white and then animate the color at a keyframe later on at something like a bright blue, you'll see how this will either affect the whole line like so or you can see how the end of the line is also a bit white and then it slowly gets into that blue color. So you can kind of see if I set it to none then the line gets affected at the same time so it gradually goes from white to blue but if I set it to color, then each dot itself gets adjusted as it goes on. So it's a slightly different look. So what I'm going to do is animate a few things to make this dot appear and disappear when I want it to. So I can either start with the opacity or brush size. So I'm going to start at a brush size of zero so you don't see that little dot waiting there. And then we're going to go over to the point where we want the dot to appear. And I'm going to then make the brush size go back up to something like five. And then I'm gonna, it's going to go all the way through, it's going to slowly disappear, and then right when it lands, we'll make it go, we'll do 5 so that it stays strong, and then we'll do 0 so that it goes away by this time. So in the middle here, we can even make it get larger, so I can do something like 10, and now let's see what that looks like. So it goes small to thick to small, and then it disappears. So aside from animating the brush size, the color, and the position, you might want to animate the stroke length. For example, right here, uh, it doesn't match up with the other foot, so I could animate it so that although it starts at 0.3, by the time it gets here, we want the other foot to match up, so we'll make it go down to 0.2, and then it kind of matches up a bit more, so we shorten it manually ourselves that way. You also have the brush time properties, which is like the paint time properties. If we have it to none, everything will be affected at the same time. But if we set the size and we keyframe the brush size, you could see that the dots are affected a bit differently. So each brush stroke or dot is considered individually. So if this one came on, it'll disappear faster than this one, which just came on. 
So lastly, the paint style is you can paint directly on the original image, which is how to scribble on top, or you could do it on a transparent if you just wanted to create doodles from scratch, or you could have it reveal the original image. So you could see in this case, the line is where the original image will show through. So that could be interesting in some cases. So that's the right on effect, and that's one way you can use it to create some cool scribbles and dashed lines in your clips. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Show if you want to reach out to me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.